Today we're going to install Mint or any Ubuntu derivative uh, to an external hard drive or flash disk. Okay, so we've uh, started uh, our live CD or live USB if you wish, and we click on the install Linux Mint. Choose the language and click on continue. And it's recognizing the disks here, uh, and then it's asking you. Uh, have you got enough space and is it connected to the internet? And you don't need to be connected to the internet, but you do need enough space. And then it's asking you, do you want to unmount active partitions? So here it's shown us that SDC is our flash drive. Okay, click yes to unmount that. And then it's asking you what you want to do. You know, long install alongside replace or we do something else. Most of the time we'd use something else. So we click on that, then click on continue. Again it's recognizing the, the disks on the system. Uh, these are the unmounted disks as as you know as we just pointed out. Uh, we know that that the disk we saw was SDC So that's the external disk. The other two, SDA and SDB, are internal disks. <coughs> we can also tell by the space. Now we're gonna we're gonna delete that disk, or we're gonna get get rid of everything on there because it's fat at the moment. We're gonna put a new partition table on there, and then that all the space becomes free space. Then okay. So in the click on the free space. <laughs> oh, you, we're going to ensure that the bootloader goes to the to that disk. Yeah, so we don't want to put the bootloader on an internal disk. We want it on the external disk. And now we're going to we're going to add our our um, partitions in the free space. So here we're going to uh, create the root file system. On here we. As you can see, we're going to use 5,000 uh, megabytes, which is just under 5 gig. And this backslash means that we're going to use it as root. That's the root to the file system. Here, we're going to make three partitions. We're going to make root, home, and swap. And now in a free space, if we click on SDC, we can see that we've used one partition there, and we've got other free space on the right hand side of that. If we click on the free space and then click add. Now, this time we must make ensure that logical is active, and then we make the flash, uh, the, sorry, the swap partition. Okay, so we go down, click on swap. There's nothing there to select. Click OK. And now you'll see that in SDC we have got one partition on the left and we've got one partition on the right. So we're just going to go back down to SDC, click on SDC again. In the free space, as you can see, left and right. We're going to add a partition again, a logical partition, and we're just going to use the rest of the space. Okay, and this time we're going to put it as home. Now this is your home where all your files are kept. Click OK. And then that will give you your three uh, partitions. Now if you were to look at this in GPART, you'd see that the one on the left is a primary partition. The one in the middle and the one on the right are in an extended partition. They are partitions within a partition. So you can see our three partitions there. Okay. And we've ensured that the boot device or bootloader is our external drive, whether it's a flash drive or an external hard drive. Obviously an external hard drive will always be always run quicker than a flash drive. And we just started the install, and that's 
pretty much it.